Hi everyone, it's Marcy. Um, a couple of nights ago, I made a post about midnight a few nights ago about um, my journey to conquer my anxiety. And I wanted to make sure that I was honest with everybody and as open as I started to be in my not, uh, memoir, Permission to Land, which you can see behind me. Um, last Tuesday, I started taking Lexapro, um, an SSRI, to try to help combat the ever-present anxiety that I have been feeling for a long time, that seemingly over the last couple of months with the COVID-19 pandemic and the quarantine and social distancing and really spending the better part of the last three or four months in my house. Uh, it seems to have exacerbated. So I felt like at every single moment of every single day, just below the surface, I had an unlimited, un unending amount of tears ready to just come out. And um, last Friday night, a week ago, a little over a week ago, I found myself in the emergency room feeling like I was having some sort of heart attack or heart episode of some sort. It was a little scary and I, I couldn't breathe and I felt like somebody had their hand around my, my heart. And anyway, so I've been doing a little meditating in my own little strange practice of meditation. Um, very hard to focus on my breath, very hard to keep all of the noises and voices in my head um, from overwhelming me. I, I, to use a metaphor, I feel like my brain is um, an internet browser, like a Google browser, and I've got like 58 tabs open all at the same time. You know, there's just like a zillion things going on. And it's very hard to focus on one thing when I've got all my browser tabs open. So um, I, my doctor and my therapist and I all had conversations and um, figured that uh, Lexapro might help close some of those tabs and make me feel a lot less anxious. Um, so for the first couple of days, sort of Tuesday, so Tuesday night I started, so then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I was feeling really nauseous and really lethargic and I had a headache and I was just not feeling well, but I persevered. Um, my sister, who is a psychiatrist, um, said that these were normal feelings, normal side effects of my body getting used to being on Lexapro and they would over some time work themselves out. Um, it happened to be Friday when I made that video around midnight on Friday, we were having what I thought was, what we all thought was gonna be a treacherous tropical storm, we lose our power and 50 mile an hour gusts of wind and tons of rain and we were expecting five inches of rain and it wound up not being nearly as bad, but you know, that's enough to set the anxiety off to a new level. So I'm happy to say now we are Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night was last night, that's five nights. So today's day six. The nausea is almost gone, knock wood, um, and I'm feeling more clear and more lucid. Um, a little asthmatic because it's hot out and kind of polleny out, but the pressure and squeezing on my heart isn't there. Um, I know it's too early to tell if the Lexapro is working in the way it's supposed to work or not. It takes a couple weeks, but I'm happy to say the nausea is gone. So I don't feel like I'm trading off one bad thing for another. So that's a good thing. Um, and what I've gotten since I posted the last video on Friday night on Instagram was an outpouring of comments and supportive, supportive um, comments. I'm lacking, lacking words, sorry. Um, engaging me in this conversation and, and being happy that I'm doing better and so on. And, and I think it's important to have these conversations because unfortunately I think there's this still this crazy stigma in 2020 about seeking therapy and about being on medication and anything mental health related seems to, you know, get that little wild, wild side eye from people, which I think is serious levels of bullshit. You know, if it was a, a heart condition, God forbid, or it was diabetes or it was 
Parkinson's or it was an ulcer or something else going on by more biological and less mental, supposedly, people wouldn't look askance or judgmentally. But I think that needing a little chemical rebalancing of the brain is just as biological as everything else. Anyway, if you need help, if you're suffering, if you feel you're depressed, if you feel that you're feeling overly anxious, or you have a lot of stuff going on, please seek help. Seek a friend, seek a religious leader if that's your bag, seek uh, a therapist or a psychotherapist, seek your doctor, um, somebody trustworthy whose uh, opinion you value and who you feel loves you and has your best interest at heart. Um, and reach out to me if you need help because I can point you into the right resources or at least talk to you from my experience. I'm an English teacher, I'm an author, and I'm an artist, but I've been through 52 years of um, emotional tri trials and triumphs, so I can help as much as I can. Anyway, um, I'm not going to keep this dialogue going, so um, stay tuned for another installment in a couple days. I hope you're all doing well. Enjoy what's left of your weekend and the sunny weather outside and uh, hug your families and hug yourself and I love you.